I mean, honestly, the first time I seen one of these, I was like maybe 16, like super young. All right, guys, we're heading out to Troy, Michigan right now to check out a 2004, uh, or yeah, 2004 Pontiac GTO. Um, it's got about 350 horsepower, so it's a pretty cool car. But nonetheless, the reason I'm going to check it out is because I'm getting a loan from the bank to purchase the car so that that way I can finally build my last line of credit. That way I don't have any issues when I go and try and buy a house or if I want to get a loan from a bank to buy a house. I'll fully have all enough lines of credit finally opened under my name so I don't have issues going to purchase a house in the future if I'd like to go the traditional route, which is getting a mortgage and paying off a mortgage, right? Banks wanna see so many lines of credit under your name and, and this is really that last step that I have to, have to complete for all my lines of credit. So I don't really need this car, but I basically had to take a loan from the bank in order to finally meet all those lines of credit. So this is kind of that last step for me. So I said, well, if I gotta spend the money anyways, I might as well spend it on a car that I kind of like. So we're gonna go check out this 2004 Pontiac GTO. It's a little older, but it's freaking nasty. It's got 350 horsepower. And then, you know, if I do in fact get it, we're probably gonna take it to my buddy's shop, my roommate's shop down in Flat Rock and we're gonna probably do cams and headers on it, boost it up a little bit, and then it might be enough to uh, it might be enough to beat his his uh, his charger. So we're gonna take you, we're gonna take a look at the car, we're gonna show you the process of what it looks like to get you know a loan from a bank, sign all the paperwork. So if you're interested in that you'll find out in this video as well. Oh, here she is. From what I can see it looked like it was kept in pretty darn good condition. Yeah, I've had it since uh, 2010. How you doing, man? Shane. Dave. Nice, nice to meet you. you. We also make YouTube videos, so we thought it would be pretty cool. Okay. A little, little YouTube skit on the car. Yeah, I don't know. It looks good. I've had it since 2010. Um, when I bought it, it had 27,000 roughly miles on it. Now it has 49. I put about three a year on it, so I don't drive it very much. How have you um, liked it since then? I mean, what's that? how'd you enjoy it? It's been, it's been perfect. <laughs> the only reason I'm selling it is I'm buying my brother's. He's got one just like it. But, you know, it has 7,000 miles on. Ah, okay. Yeah. And uh, um, the windows are in the middle. Okay. The windows down. Yeah. Windows down. She sounds so pretty. Adam, if you don't receive a response within 24 hours, you will pump. not be charged for what we so consider pretty good if you're in the stereo Additionally, thing. as your case progresses, oh, you will receive right copies here. of the documents and correspondence yeah generated by your case as well as a monthly itemized statement of the work we have performed no mysteries no surprise you can't get the Oh, those words. It's a success of your case. So you're still into dance, but that gives you a little idea how old it is. Where are you from? So originally from Northville, live in Novi now on Wold Lake. And my roommates were actually gonna, the mechanic was gonna come with me take a peek at it, but yeah, they actually ran up north to pick up a new pontoon boat. So they're bringing that back today. Yeah, fifty days. So you know the area? Where you want to go? No, I think I'll just kind of run it down the road. Up here is Big Beaver. This road's always got the hot cars on it. They're always racing off the line, that kind of thing. And it's just not who I am. I'm being honest with you. I, I've gone it a little bit, but I'm not racing down the road. It's just not worth it for me. No, no. Uh, and the ticket just... It's going to eat you. my luck, I'll get a ticket on but it's there for the take. You guys do it all the time. How do you like her? Love it. I love it. It's fantastic. Yeah, I really do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the paperwork. Here, huge bag. It's a really nice car. I like it. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact the bumper isn't set up for a dual exhaust tips. It is dual exhaust, but doesn't have the bumper frame to have dual exhaust out the back. Few scratches. He was asking about 13,000 for it. I asked him for 11,000. He wouldn't budge anything further than 12,400. So a little bit more than I really want to pay. But at the end of the day, it's not like I'm buying this car to drive it for the rest of my life, nor am I buying the car to really resell it to make money. It's more or less just to buy a cool car to have fun driving with for the next year or so. So, and, and really in terms to build my credit. So, 
you know, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna talk to my buddy who's a mechanic, uh, see what he thinks about how hard it's gonna be to install a new bumper on it so we can do the dual exhaust tips and whether or not we're gonna throw cams and headers on it, make it really fast. And then maybe we could sell it for, you know, a little bit more profit, but end of the day, cool car. Uh, if I could, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know, I don't know. I like it though, it's fast, it's cool. So it's hot, I need to get some air in. So anyways, we may or may not buy the car, we don't know, but um, I think there's a strong chance I might buy it, but we'll see. Anyways, I gotta go to the bank, give them the information, get the loan, we'll head back, give the guy the cash if I wanna buy it, and then we'll do a video, if we do buy it, if we do buy it, we'll do a video of throwing on the cams and the headers. So if you guys want another video like this or another video on the car, if we do buy it, give it a thumbs up, comment in the section below, yes, we wanna see the car get cammed and headed and we'll make another video. All right, guys, here we are. We are going to, uh, we're going to pick up the uh, Pontiac GTO, the 2004 Pontiac GTO. Again, the whole reason I've been buying this car was so that I could get my last line of credit done for. You know, I got credit cards. Kind of last step was getting a loan from the bank for, for whatever. It could have been a motorcycle, a car. Um, but the reason I'm doing this is so that in the future, if I want to uh, want to buy a house or something or get a loan to buy a house so I can get, you know, kind of get into the real estate game or just buy a house for myself to live in, the bank will give me any issues. So we're 25, we got all of our lines of credit about to be finished this way. I will have no issues buying a house. Really the game plan is that the next time we go through an economic recession, uh, I'll have all my lines of credit figured out that way when I go to the bank they're not gonna give me a hassle trying to get a loan in bad times when all the houses are really cheap so again don't really need the car but screw it why not we got a cool little Pontiac GTO we're gonna soup it up we're gonna make it fast we'll let you guys know what it looks like when we get it all done and all the cams uh, all the all the all the custom work done on the car we'll do another video show you guys what it's like uh, so hope you guys like the video but again I'll do another little recap video on this as to exactly why I went ahead and bought this car and the reasons for it and again it's really all along the lines of building credit to get yourself financially prepared for the future that's basically about it so let's go get it waiting for his wife to show up and then cash check and okay. all good to go. Appreciate all right. It. Thank you so much. I'm going to head to the baseball practice. Go ahead. Get out of here. Uh, what was the odometer? Well, I guess I can. We can go up there yeah, and get we'll that go exact. Out there and I know get it's there. four, nine, six something. Yeah, so that's all good. You're just right there. Yeah. No, we're good on that. But other than that, guys, I appreciate it. I'll shake Very your hand one more time. Dave, hope everything goes great. Wife. So how does she feel? She feels like she's ready to get fucking headers, cam, souped up. We're good to go, baby. So nonetheless, that guy was super skeptical. Since I met him on Craigslist, I'm a young cat, absolutely flawless looking, stellar, beautiful guy. Anyways, he was really skeptical. He did not trust me when I said that I would give him a cashier's check. He thought it was scamming him, which by the way, there's a lot of people who scam on Craigslist. So if you're going to buy stuff from Craigslist, make sure it's legit. But he thought I was going to scam him. I had to bring him to the bank, sit down with the bank teller, show him that it's all legit. He's got the cashier's check. He's going to go home. We got the car. Deal is done. Lines of credit all complete and adulting 101.